today's video, we're going to build ourselves a trial balance like this one. Hey guys, my name's James and welcome back to another episode of Accounting Stuff. Today's video is number five of Accounting Basics and it's all about the trial balance. I'm going to explain what it means, why it exists, and show you how to make one for yourself. Are you ready? Let's do this. A trial balance, or TB when abbreviated, is an accounting report showing the closing balances of all general ledger accounts at a point in time. Back in the days of accounting on paper, it was used to check that the debit and credit column totals match each other. However, since the introduction of accounting software, that check has become less and less important since it's now done automatically. Nowadays, it is an internal document that is typically used by accountants to check for errors and assist in the producing of financial statements. It is also used by auditors in deciding which accounts to review. Okay, so now we know what a trial balance means, but what does it look like? It looks like this. We have a complete listing of all general ledger accounts running down the page with two columns for the debit and credit totals. In the title, we need to mention the period end date since we're looking at a snapshot at a point in time. The account names are grouped by their type. Typically, we start off with assets, liabilities, equity, and dividends, since this is the typical layout of a balance sheet. Then we have all of the revenue and expense accounts which make up the income statement or profit and loss. To reduce the size of a trial balance, Accounts with zero balances are normally left out completely. The columns that the account balances go in usually line up with the normal balances of the account types, which we can remember using dealer. Dividends, expenses, and assets are normally debit accounts, so these go on the left, whereas liabilities, owner's equity, and revenue are normally credit accounts, which go on the right. The totals of the debit and credit columns should always match each other. If they don't, then you'll need to check over your workings for errors. We're double entry bookkeeping at all times, so the total debits and credits are always equal. However, debit and credit totals being equal doesn't mean our trial balance is error free. We could have switched the debits and credits in a journal and got them the wrong way round or we could have posted the same journal twice, or not even posted it at all. We could have posted the journal to the wrong accounts entirely, or we could have posted a balance journal to the correct accounts, but the numbers were wrong because we messed up our workings. So by no means does a balanced trial balance mean that it's correct, but it's certainly a good start. Example time. We're gonna build a trial balance for our window cleaning business. It's been up and running for one month now, so we're going to need to include all of those transactions from the previous two videos. If you missed either of them, you might wanna hit that pause button now and go check them out to help clarify things. To create this trial balance, we're going to use something called a working trial balance. This has a very similar format to the one that I showed you before, except this time, we aren't gonna split debits and credits into separate columns. Instead, we're going to identify debits as positive numbers and credits as negative numbers to help us distinguish between them. To start things off, we need a listing of all of the accounts our window cleaning business has. Then we're going to add seven columns to the right hand side of it, six for each of the journal entries and a seventh to calculate the total balances in each of the accounts. Below the list of accounts, we are going to add one final row for the totals of the columns so that we can check each of the journals balance as we enter them. Now it's time for us to enter these journals. I'm gonna move through this next section quite quickly, so if any of these accounting entries are making sense, then check out those previous videos and you'll be fine. First, the business owner invests $100 and in return, the business issues $100 in stock. We are going to debit cash by $100 and credit owner's equity by $100. Then, the business takes out a further $200 loan to fund its activities. We need to debit cash again by $200 and credit loans payable by $200 as well. Third, the business spends $30 in cash on window cleaning equipment. We credit cash by $30 and we debit equipment by $30. 
Next, it spends a further $50 on cleaning supplies. The payment is made on account. So we debit supplies by $50 and credit accounts payable by $50. After that, the business makes $150 cleaning windows using half of its supplies in the process. We debit cash by $150 and credit revenue by $150 to recognize the revenue. We also credit supplies by $25 and debit cost of sales by $25 as well to account for half of the supplies being used up. Finally, in the journal entries video, we spent $20 at the laundry to clean our equipment. So we debit laundry costs by $20 and we credit cash by $20. Now that we have all of our September journals written out, we can take the totals for each account. You'll notice that the sum of these totals is zero. That's a good sign because it shows that our trial balance is balanced. Now, one last thing to finish this off. Let's reformat our working trial balance to show our debits and credits in separate columns. And let's rename this to trial balance for the period ended 30th of September. The total of our accounts with a debit balance is $500 and the total of our accounts with a credit balance is also $500. So here we have our final trial balance for the September accounting period. Let's recap what we just learned there. The trial balance is an accounting report that shows the closing balances of all GL accounts at a point in time. It is an internal report used by accountants to check for errors and help produce financial statements. The totals of the debit and credit columns must always match each other exactly for it to balance. However, balance columns doesn't mean that the trial balance is error free. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Have a great week and see you next time.